Oh, another thing about me, you know this, they don't know this. I did the Disney College program and I auditioned to be a character and I found out they have a lot of different requirements and I'm too tall to be any of the princesses. What? Yeah, I can At never- At like Disney World Yes, or I Disneyland. can never be a Disney princess. Really? Really. That's fucked up. Yeah. Why? Why? I'm too tall. I'm not a petite little girl. Why, why can't why can't they be tall? WNBA like, players can't be princesses. <laughs> no, they cannot. Damn. Because like the thing is, is they want them to all be like similar. I don't think a six year old kid is gonna remember that like Cinderella from two weeks ago was a little shorter. And let's but... be for real. How many times a year are these kids going to fucking Disney World? Well, yeah, the same that's kids. the thing. But like, so they just want to keep it uniform. I also don't have the right nose to be a princess, but it's fine. What? Bro, there's a nose let's requirement. Let's not talk about my nose right now. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's a nose requirement, then I don't think I can be a princess. I either, can be the I'm ugly not... stepsister, so that feels really I, good I, for I, my soul. Jesus. But <laughs> I think they would be really fun to play, though. I'm not mm. going to lie. Yeah. So I would love to play. Playing a villain. Stepsister. Playing a yes. villain's always fun, I feel like. You know, you I get to think let so. loose a little bit. And Looks just like, like my true feelings come out. No. <laughs> yeah, just let, yeah, let it go. <laughs> like, just be mean to kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're annoying. <laughs> you spit on them. Fuck it. My friend got spit on not when enough. she worked at Disney. Really? Yes, because I don't remember. Ma Maleficent or somebody who spit? No, like... no, no, no. Not by like a character. Like she worked there in one of the booths and they raised the price of water. And I don't remember. Like it's been so long since I've been there. And I don't remember. I feel like the water was maybe like, was it $10? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, that sounds like... I might be wrong. It was maybe $6. It's but expensive. She, they asked yeah. her and they're like, how much is the water? And she answered and they just spit in her face. I was like, bro, if that happened to me, I would get terminated from this job. Yeah, dude. Like, I'm not taking that level of disrespect. No way. No Holy way. Holy cow, dude. I worked in like the Expedition Everest gift shop. I would have took them by the ear, dragged them to the top of Mount Everest, dropped them. Yeah. You don't spit in my face. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Spitting someone's face over that. That's, um, That's wow. Insane. I've never seen something like that. I, I had somebody one dude, time. Disney adults? I wanted to ask you about that. <clears throat> I'm a Disney adult, though. But I mean, like, okay, there's a very specific kind they're the annual pass holders and they're basically like <laughs> the karens of disney <laughs> I, know, like, I know some. they're I know so some. like entitled to everything they're like well i'm an annual pass holder so mm. i think i should get this for four dollars like i'm not in control of that dude yeah i know some people it's like if you're an annual fucking pass holder you should know that the prices here are ridiculous yeah. and they're always going to be ridiculous well and the thing too is like i don't get why you feel so entitled to things because they're like i'm an annual pass holder so i should be able to be at the front of the roller coaster it's like well if you're an annual pass holder you have the opportunity to come here every single day of the year and some of these people this is their only trip they're gonna like Ever come here, here their whole life yeah so if anything get to the back of the line yeah i've never been yeah. i've never been to really? disney world or disneyland dude you gotta come through it's lit yeah I've, i wanted to go <laughs> once they got they put the star wars thing up too i'm a huge the nerd star so wars i heard galaxy's land. edge is cool dude i don't even mess with star wars like that but and you, it was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I went um, with my boyfriend at the time and he was really into like everything Star Wars. And he they have this like special thing where you could like privately like build these lightsabers. I saw that. Yeah. And they awesome. have like this whole ceremony and like you get a special pin. And I like recently got bro the pins at Disney. It's a problem. Are they they're fire? Okay, so here's the thing about it. I've heard about them before I worked there because I never went to Disney World before. I went to Disneyland because, like I said, I lived in Arizona. Mm -hmm. So at Disney World, when I worked there in merchandise, you get to wear the pins and do the pin trading. And I saw, like, the appeal because the thing is, is, like, certain people would come in and it's just, like, it's only Ursula pins. So everyone has a very specific way of collecting and you could find out so much about a person. And also it just really brought people together. Like, these people would never talk at any yeah. other time. And they'd be like, hey, let me see your pins. Oh, I really like your collection. And it will be like a 50-year-old lady talking to a 12-year-old kid. And it's just like these interactions would have never happened unless they had like this pin trading thing. I would so. tell that lady to get away from my kid. <laughs> you can't have her fucking pins. <laughs> Go watch some Dude, other movies. Some people. <laughs> like I remember one time I was working and this lady, she's like, it's my birthday. Can I have a free pin? And you're only supposed to trade it. But I was like 
sometimes you could lose pins and you just tell your coordinator like oh i lost this pin like mm. i need a new one so i was yeah. like okay i'll give her a magical moment i'll give her like a free pin for her birthday like she asked nice so what did you do then for what you were a pin giver or what what did you Bro, do then I'm when you they, so they were like you're not a princess yeah you're gonna just hand out pins so originally i was a ride operator in mm. pandora Pandora. Yeah, like but the world Pandora. of Avatar. Oh, Avatar, yes. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. and it was so cool. And that was like right when the world, like the world, but <laughs> right when Pandora like first opened. Yeah. So it was the hottest place to be. It was always super crowded and like everyone wanted to get on the ride. Like the ride I was operating, there was usually like a six hour wait for it. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And dude. like in the morning, like part of the check was like, we have to make sure the ride works. So I would just like get on it without waiting any hours. Wow. Yeah. Is it, would you, now that you've done it multiple times, yeah. would you wait six hours for it? Um, if you were taking me as my first time yes, and we're yes, going yes. to Disney World, will we wait six hours well, for Well, here's that? the thing. I'm a finesser. So mm. I'm going to be like, hey, I used to work here. And then maybe let them, like, get me to the front of the line. Oh, shit. But I'm not going to expect it. Like, I'm not entitled to it. But I would try to finesse it. But I think it depends on how long your stay is there. Okay. And if you really like because there's so much to do, I feel there, like. Yeah, especially in Disney World. There's like, different parks within the yeah, park. So it's like, how do you know what to so do? so much. So if you have a lot of time, I would say wait six hours. But I don't know. Nothing yeah. there's really six hours for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're. But it's also because I lived there for a year. So it's just do like. Do you live at the place? So not in Disney, but they had Disney housing for the college program students. Disney housing? Yeah, dude. What's the mouse payout wag. for housing? What does that look like? Dude, it was so expensive. Jesus. and there was no reason it had to cost that much money but what's it look like if you could like what's your are you like in an apartment then or so they recently changed it but before there was like four different housing complex and um vista way was like known as the like crazy crazy party complex and it was really easy to sneak people into there because they had like really big security and different things like at all the complexes they had a lot of security but vista way was really easy to sneak people in can you not have friends over you can have friends over but like not after a certain time of night what yeah can you order pizza yeah you could order pizza what if you want to order pizza late you can but they can't come in oh. you have to meet them at the gate so you you can't have sleepovers at disney you're not supposed to okay but people did it people did it did i do it maybe but <laughs> <laughs> why not who's to know who's yeah. to say but um yeah no vista way was crazy and one of the things about vista way is that's where they put a lot of the international people because that was something i didn't think about because you've never been to disney world so there is a park called epcot and they have the world showcase and in the world showcase like there's a mexico pavilion uh italian pavilion they have all these different like countries and the people there are actually from those countries so it, let's say like you took a spanish class and you want to practice like speaking spanish like you would be talking to like an actual person from that place with like knowledge and they can tell you what it's really like like life there yeah so they have all these international people staying in housing as well mm. and most of them stayed at vista way and <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say something out of pocket. <laughs> okay. This is the time. Yeah. Okay. So multiple out of pocket things. So um, in Epcot, they have a thing called drinking around the world where you get a drink from, from every place. country. Yes. Okay. So a lot of people at the college program, a lot of boys had a thing called sleeping around the world where they would try to oh. sleep with an international student from each country. Oh, shit. And Fortnite challenges real life. Yeah, bro. that's sick. New season pass just dropped. Dude, yeah, I saw somewhere like Vista Ways, like one of the easiest places to get laid. That's dope. Yeah, because the thing is, is like the ratio is like, I think it's twenty percent male to female there. Like and twenty percent male. Yeah, twenty percent male. And out of the twenty percent male, I think like five or two percent are straight. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah they're swimming in it over there wow yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that's okay if you're a straight man it's a commodity wow really in yeah. disney wait is a commodity the right word i think i don't know maybe I it's don't... rare yeah yeah you're rare <laughs> yeah wow okay that's cool dude so what uh, he said that's sick that they were sleeping with people from all around the world <laughs> that's that's how you that's how you gain cultural knowledge yeah that's it's how like you become... um more worldly you know 
Thanos' stone. This Infinity yeah. Stones? That's the how you Infinity gotta collect stones. them all, dude. Yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Who's got the best drink? Did you do it? You, did you I do the drinking around drink. the room? I don't drink. Okay, I don't either. Yeah, I know. Oh. Because I'm a stalker. Oh, what? Okay, shit. anyway. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Just <laughs> <Let's> expose myself. <laughs> so, so, um, okay, so you don't drink. So do you, what, I don't. As someone who worked there, do you maybe yeah. know, what, what was the one people maybe found the most popular? Bro, I don't be talking to people about that. Oh, shit. For I real. just know a lot of people like the Italian pavilion because the guys there were really hot. Yeah. So that's that that's all sense. I can tell you about that. <laughs> that, makes, <laughs> like, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So what what other um, things do you have to do as a an operator, a ride operator Bro, at Disney World? There was so much that like went into it. So the building I was working in, it was three like three layers for just the ride, but there was four sections of the ride. Cause th- let me explain. So there's a screen, mm-hmm. and there's a giant screen that operates for three layers each. So total, the whole building was six stories tall. This is like a roller coaster, right? No. Kind of? It's like, um, dude, I cannot compare it to anything because you have no knowledge of like, you don't know what soaring around the world is. No, I don't know. You're they di- might. Someone might. It's like soaring around the world. That's a ride as well? Yeah. Okay. So it's like, you're basically like on an arcade motorcycle, essentially. Okay. If that makes sense, that's how you're seated. And it's the Ikaron, which is um, the Banshees from Avatar. Avatar, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you have these 3D glasses, and then you go into your Avatar's body, and you fly on the Ikaron. And... So you're... So it's like they're in a stationary thing. In a stationary but the, thing. But through the goggles and the screens. Yes, but and there's the a wall here before it starts, but the wall comes undone and it's exposed. So if you're on the top layer, you can fall six stories down. And I oh. actually don't know if I can legally say that. So allegedly you can fall six allegedly. stories down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. So you gotta and you gotta check people's like harnesses? safety and everything. Wow. And um one of the things too, there's three different like sets of harnesses. So there's a back harness and then there's two for the back of the legs. But the thing too, that was really stressful is a kid could be the right height for the ride, but you know how people have different proportions. Oh yeah. If they had shorter shins, they would not shins. be allowed. Yeah. Cause it had to, um, the had to rest against the shin or rest it behind? didn't have to rest against the shin but the thing is is like your leg had to go past this because oh. if it didn't you could slide out yeah so it had to go past that and if you weren't the right height you wouldn't be allowed to ride so people would wait six hours thinking their kid is the right height for the ride oh. and we would have to be like no you can't ride another thing that was really hard too is it's not a really like Mm, it's not friendly to bigger people yeah yeah there's not a lot of like range in that so like having to kick someone off for being too big after they waited six hours like first of all even in the happiest place in the world even if they didn't wait six hours like it's just embarrassing to get kicked off for being too big in front of a group of people like that alone is so bad but then on top of it you waited six hours and what do we give them like a little coupon to skip another line yeah that they probably can't i would like I mean, maybe I'm not the right person to speak on this, but if that were me, I would rather fall from the six stories, I think, then, because that would be, that's tough, that's man. That's brutal. That's tough, bro. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Yeah, dude. I only had to do it like two times. Oh my gosh. How much are you getting paid? Are you like getting paid like minimum wage? You like, get paid terribly. <laughs> that's what I'm wondering. Like this shit is what blows my mind about like Six Flags. Cause you, did you work at Six Flags? Too? I did. I saw that. Yeah. So you okay? Oh, but I had so much fun at Six Flags. Six Flags is my favorite job, and I feel like I should have paid them really? to be there. Yeah. Really? Wow. That's my favorite one. Well, so the thing is with like people like like ride operators at yeah. Six Flags or Disney or whatever. Like the fact that it's like some kid in high school or like just freshly out yeah. of high school getting paid ten dollars an hour seven dollars an hour i had four days to learn this ride how to operate it and that i was telling you before what? this <laughs> I, four days to learn how to operate this ride and it's like a multi-million dollar thing there's a lot of technology so many things like when you make this ride go since there's the three layers you have to like be on the radio and make sure everyone hits the button at the same time and it can't be like sort of the same time it has to be the same time that you hit it Like, there's so many technical things. One of the things, this was not friendly to my ADHD brain. I had to watch the screen of all the riders at the same time. And I'm, like,
like responsible for everything because I'm able to see if all the locks are locked in yeah. the screen room, but it's black and white. So it's kind of hard to see if a light is yellow or red in there. Yeah. And you had to watch like 12 screens at the same time. And it was so overwhelming, so Damn. stressful. And on my fourth day when they were like, this is your test to see if you're able to like operate this. This I was telling you about this before we filmed. That was like, I've had little panic attack, no anxiety attacks, anxiety attacks. But that's when I full on had a panic attack. Yeah. And I was like hyperventilating and crying because it was just so much at once. And I kind of like ran out and they were like, whoa, you can't just leave during your shift. And I was like, I'm not going to like, yeah, I'm not <laughs> getting like this in front of people. I'm not getting paid <laughs> enough to deal with this right now. That's what dude, it just, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Cause it's like, you're not, I mean, you're getting paid nothing basically. Yeah. And you're having to, in your case, you're handling a lot of things and allegedly, you know, there may or may not be a six story thing that someone yeah. can fall off of. But it too, like regular roller coasters, these other rides, it's again, it's a fucking somebody getting paid seven twenty five, eight dollars an hour mm -hmm. to check my child Do to harness to something? see and if they're okay and they're gonna go on a raging bull and yes. hit the fake drop. And Dude, and they just go flying let off. Let me tell you something about Six Flags too. So at Disney, you have to be over eighteen to work there. Yeah. Six Flags, they have 14 year olds working there. I, I know. And you I, can, this is another thing. You can like identify it because their name tags are different colors. So if it is a yellow name tag, they are 14 and 15. If it is 14? Yeah. Jesus Christ. 14 and 15. Dude. Um, If it's orange, then you are 16 to 17. And then once it's white, that means you're 18. You're, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that was another thing too. Everyone would be like, watch out for those orange tags. Yeah. I'm like, ew. But wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude. Hey, thanks for watching there, guy. Click right over here if you want to see that episode in its entirety. Or you can click over here and subscribe to the channel. See all the other fun shit we do here. It's really up to you, guy.